Yeah, here's to the best red pill creators. Red pill awareness and comedy. And he's got a little emoji there that looks like a rocks glass, and it was a twenty four ninety nine donation. Thank oh, you very much. We're up much. to what? Th- what, what three seventy two now. Three seventy two. Three hundred and seventy two yeah. people who are still horizontal because of the comedy of our channel. Horizontal? You mean no, vertical? Vertical. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might be horizontal right now. You know, tie ho- tie hooker on top. You know. Yeah. Got their phone in their hand oh. watching the show. Did you know? That down as it in uh, as it Sweden, yeah, they're actually take trying to take steps to limit their men from marrying women from Thailand. Why? I'll give you one guess. Because they're not feminist. Correct. <laughs> the number has the number has. Increased threefold since 2007. Wow. No wonder they put out those freaking commercials in, in these, you know, open borders countries encouraging their women to, to start banging the migrants. Yeah. It's because that's the only way that's going to happen for them. Yeah. I that's mean, hilarious. I don't blame them. I mean, who, who wants to, like, you know, be, well, be married to a knuckle dragon, you know, Swedish cow? I got nothing. You know, I mean, I've seen a lot of Swedish women and they look pretty good. Yeah. But still, uh, you know, the divorce rate is like a 55%. Yeah. That's just right out of the gate. And then the divorce rate for these men who marry these, these Thai chicks is 15%. See, that, that right there speaks for itself. That's a huge difference, man. Huge difference. So that's the difference between women who are feminine and women who are feminists who are taught that masculinity is toxic and then make their entire lifestyle about pursuing masculine traits. Yeah. I, you see there, how that works? There is absolutely no way I am going to suffer a woman like that ever again. It's no. never going to happen. And plus, Swedish porn is just a huge turnoff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you oh, noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I, like. Okay, <laughs> remember when we were kids, and you used to like wait till your parents went to sleep and turn on like one of the the wavy line channels. Oh yeah, spice, just, spice. just so you could get two seconds of titties. <laughs> that was a good day for you. Or you know, if your parents sleep soundly enough, you sneak under dad's side of the bed and there you go. Oh, here you go. <laughs> but you know, I'm just saying. Now, we're become so spoiled to it. Like I, if it's oh, yeah. if it's another language, forget it. No sound, forget, forget it. Forget it. You know, if I don't see certain camera angles, forget it. Some of the camera angles, definitely forget it. Yeah. I mean, I, I literally, I'd be like, yeah, it's just so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch something else. I mean, I'm not 16 anymore, but I'm just saying. Like, uh, some of it is just like, oh, it's a dude's butthole. Yeah, turn it off, turn it off. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> what do they call that? Brown eye vision? Ah! <laughs> Sack cinematography? <laughs> Sack-a-lack attack. Sack-a-lack. <laughs> Bootstraps and suck attach. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh, my God. Bootstraps? Well, what, what do you expect when you get ass blasters from outer space? I mean, come on. <laughs> that would actually be funny for a good a, a comedy uh, skit porno thing. thing. <laughs> Bootstraps and suck attach. <laughs> It's some old dude with like this incredibly long leathery sack. <laughs> oh god! He's like slapping the lady on the belly as he's gone. Oh my god! The could, visuals are terrible. I couldn't imagine a sack hanging down that low. You tried it every time you take a shit. You basically had to take uh, a fire hose to your own. No, I, I remember in Home Depot. I was there years ago with my ex-wife, and there oh, was no. this old guy, and he was like, "So, well, where, where's the water level on this?" And the guy's like, <clears> uh, <throat> "I don't know why." He goes. I need it to have a low water level because I'm tired of my, my nuts hitting the water in the middle of the night when I sit down. <laughs> I left my balls out. Like, oh, my God. I would have laughed my ass off, too. Oh. I, oh, I, I could not help it. I could not help it. I instantaneously just started laughing. Ooh, that's amazing. And my ex-wife was like, come on, shut up. Shut up. Stop laughing. I'm like, I just couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff.